In this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you everything you possibly need to kickstart your streaming career or just your YouTube career, period. Now, today's video, as you boys and girls can see by the title, I'll be building the cheapest gaming setup you can possibly build, particularly for people who are on a budget. Now, I'm gonna show you cheapest products you could possibly buy that will still serve its purpose and get what's need to be done, done. Everything that I'm gonna show you is like stuff that I've used that I feel like was is definitely still good enough to use right now. And I'm gonna also also tell you what you could possibly buy to up the quality later on down the line once all of these products starts to get terrible. Now drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let's get straight into this. Now first off, we're going to start out with a gaming PC. Now this gaming PC here I'm going to show you guys. This is a AMD Rising 5 gaming PC. Now look you guys, this has a CPU which is an AMD Ryzen 5. It has a graphics, AMD Radeon graphics card, a one terabyte hard drive, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now this PC here preferably, this is a very cheap PC. This PC will only allow you to really stream. If you are a PC gamer, I would say this video is not really for you. This is more for people who are going to connect their consoles to their PC to probably stream or record videos for their audience. This isn't for that person who just plays PC game and they will use their PC to stream and to PC game. This PC will not handle PC gaming. It will literally only handle streaming. What you can do to make this PC a beast PC, you can upgrade the CPU. You can upgrade it to a Ryzen 7 or a 9. I would say a Ryzen 9 preferably. You can upgrade that graphics card to like a 3060 or a 37. 3070, those are like the most like up-to-date graphics card when it comes to PCs. The graphic card basically handles and PC gaming. It allows your PC gaming to move smooth and perform it at, it, at its best rate. Um, the RAM is basically for when you have a lot of tabs open and basically your PC allow handling a lot of stuff that you're going to have open while PC gaming. The RAM, I would say go up to a 32 gigabytes of RAM. 16 is good enough, but it's going to eventually wear off. So this is a great PC for streaming. If you are on a budget and you know, you're just looking for something that'll handle streaming or just can do a little bit. This PC is the great option for you. So that's the PC. Next here, we're going to get into a monitor. Now look, you guys, monitors, monitors, monitors. A lot of people have their own opinions on monitors, but I don't know. Like, I don't think I really see the difference in monitors. It could just be me, but right here is an Asus monitor. I have Asus monitors right now. While I'm looking at this video, I have two Asus monitors in front of me. Now look, you guys, this is a very cheap Asus monitor, and y'all might get a little bit confused on the inch that you see, but you really don't need big monitors when you're when you're gaming on a monitor, it's going to be right here in your face. It does not need to be big. My monitors are like 23 and 24 inches, which is perfectly fine. So I love Asus monitors. I have two. So I recommend an Asus monitor. And this is like the cheapest one I've seen. All right, next here, we're going to go Elgato. So I'm going to break down what the Elgato does. The Elgato allows you to capture your console gaming. So when you guys see me, Playing the game, streaming the game, this is what is capturing the game. When you hook this up to your PC and you hook the other end up to your game, it comes together and brings the game onto your PC where you can stream it to your audience and basically record your gameplay. So this is basically what the Elgato capture card is for. It's a game capture. It captures your gameplay. And um, this right here is 1080 60 FPS. Um, if you want a better one, I would say go the HD60 Plus, the HD60S Plus, or the HD60X. Now, with the HD60X, which is right here, right here on top, this right here is a 4K capture card. You have to literally have a 4K monitor when it comes to this capture card. Um, my friend who had it, for some reason, it didn't work with his monitor. He had to go buy a 4K monitor with this capture card. So my preference, I would stay in between the HD60 or the HD60S Plus. The HD60S Plus is like a little bit more better than this one, but we're on a budget here. So this will be the best option right now with your price range. All right, 
Fourthly here, we have the webcam, well, the mic. So right here, you guys, you have a Logitech Blue Yeti, what is a Blue Yeti mic? This is a Blue Yeti mic. I don't know why it says Logitech, but this is a Blue Yeti mic. If you guys don't know, Blue Yetis are like one of the top companies for mics. Um, everyone have these mics. A lot of people have these mics. Right now, this is the best mic you can possibly get on a budget for their low. This is like the best one you could possibly get. Um, if you want something better, definitely go for a HyperX. HyperX are great mics. Um, you can look it up if you want. But this video is about the ones that's needed for this budget. So this is like the best mic you can get on a budget. Like cheap mic with good quality, Blue Yeti is probably like the best, right? Like literally the best you can get. As you guys can see, it's right now at $84. Um, the price goes up and down. Sometimes they get back to $100, but it's at $84 right now. So uh, I would say this is like the best mic you can get while being on a budget. All right, nextly here, we're going to show you guys a webcam. Now this webcam here, you guys, I've had this webcam before, but I upgraded to, of course, their latest. Um, this webcam is definitely great for, like I said, people who are on a budget. It records 1080p, 60 frames per second. Um, it's gonna be very clear. All it takes is lightning to make this thing perform at its best. Um, so with this camera, I would say definitely get a great ring light. Um, you can go to your latest or your, your closest Walmart, Best Buy, or whatever for just a ring light. Most of these webcams will perform at its potential or its best potential when it has great light. Cheap webcam, this is the one I would point you guys to. A Logitech Pro C920, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Next here, we're gonna go to chairs. Now a lot of people are, I don't know, I don't, a lot of people are iffy about this. So the chair that I have right now, this is like a $300 chair. And literally, this chair about looks the exact same, right? $46. Now chairs, you do not have to go over the top. You don't. This chair was gifted to me, a company. Um, if you guys are interested in the chair, if you go on my channel and go to the about tab, you will see Ewing. Um, but this is not about that. They didn't pay me. So, hey, but cheapest chair you could possibly get gaming chair. It's just a chair. You want to sit in it. Um, I guarantee you it feels great. I remember having one of these chairs and if I'm not mistaken, it was this red one. If you go to my real old videos, I had a chair just like this before I got big, popular and brand started reaching out. This is the chair I had literally the same chair. Um, it, I, it might've been mesh. This looks like leather, but same chair. These chairs are very comfortable. It, you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You guys, it's a chair. So on a budget, this is the cheapest chair, comfortable chair you can get, or you can just get a regular office chair, but I preferably suggest this one. Almost finished desk. Now with desk, you guys, um, I always say for anyone, go L desk. It creates more space. You can do more. It just, it's, it's a lot of space on your desk to place what you want to place, do what you want to do. If, if you want to turn your setup into like a three monitor thing, this L desk has a lot of space. Now they're actually right now very cheap. They're usually about a hundred some dollars. Um, this one is $60 max total with tax included. You might play like around 65, who knows? Um, but L, L shaped desk. I always, I always would suggest an L shaped desk, man. It's just a lot of space. You can put a lot on that desk. So on a budget, this is about the best desk that you could possibly get. A desk is a desk. Get what you want. If you don't want an L shape, don't get it. But my opinion, the L shapes, it's just more space, man. And lastly here, you guys, green screen. Now, there are people who are not a fan of green screens, but um, I'm a fan of green screens. I have my green screen. Sometimes I'll put it up. Sometimes I'll take it down. Now, look, you guys. I'm going to put you on right here. This is very cheap. Right. Um, my green screen that I have, I if you, if you have that fabric section in your local Walmart, I went to the fabric section, and I had them cut me a big piece of green fabric. And I made that a green screen. And it's literally no more than probably like a couple dollars. Literally probably like no more than five dollars. Probably less than that. But um, that's what I did. Just a smart way. But on a budget here, this is an $18 green screen. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to come with 
what it says, a green screen backdrop. I'm not sure if you're going to come with all those stands, but if it doesn't, it's easy. Pin it to the wall. Pin it the way you can. I would say place your, your setup in front and have a wall in the background. That's like the best way to do things. And you can just pin this on the wall with some thumbtacks. But this is like a cheap green screen. Green screens, if you don't know, it just allows you to blend in along with your background. So just say you got GTA 5 in the back. If you don't want to have a white wall like this showing, if you place that green screen up there, it'll literally just blend you in. You won't see nothing behind you. They won't see nothing but the game that you're playing. So that's a cheap green green screen in my opinion. Uh, $18.99, you can't beat it. If y'all if know what these green screens, they can get high. So I feel like I covered everything there was to cover with um, this setup. Down in the comments, let me know if you guys want me to make another video like this, but bringing you, like, the best of the best that you can get. Now, keep in mind, this video is for people who are on a budget. Literally on a budget. I, I showed them items that would still help them perform and do what needs to be done. Um, like I said, everything I showed in this video is for people on a budget. So, I know there are going to be people criticizing and saying, oh, that's trash, that's trash. It's not. It's a lot of people who still use these items. I still use the Elgato. I still got my Asus monitors. All of those things. You know what I'm saying? So it still works perfectly fine. Um, I know someone who has that webcam that I showed. Still works perfectly fine. Um, and literally, that's really all I wanted to cover. Um, down in the comments, if you are looking forward and have been looking forward to just getting your gaming career started and buying a setup let me know if this video helped you out like i said drop a thumbs up down in the comments if you guys want me to make another video showing you guys the best products you can buy to have that beast quality to have that uh beast pc where it can handle everything pc gaming streaming all of that let me know down in the comments i would bring you guys the best items you could possibly buy to make your setup as BC as it can get. Now, um, for the people who are on a budget, I hope stuff in this video helped you guys out. Um, everything I showed you is great products that will get you to point A to point B. Like I said, that gaming PC, it will only handle streaming. PC gaming, you will have to up upgrade parts. You will have to upgrade parts, I'm sorry. You will have to upgrade the parts in the future, but um, I would say just stick to, like, streaming using that pc um i'll say that's more so for people who console game and not pc game but i'll see you boys and girls in the next video peace out